Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. Now in this video, I'm here located at the hotel near the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. I'm going to show you the Malahite DSP-2. It's a receiver and how well it would receive with the built-in antenna. Well, it's not actually built in. It's a telescopic antenna that you have to screw in into one of the antenna ports on the top of the radio. When you're uh, monitoring the air bands, you want to set the squelch to just at the threshold where any kind of signal will open up the squelch. So I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. Okay, on the top of the Malahite DSP-2, there's a volume knob right here. This is gonna be a multi-function knob slash button that you gotta push down and it's going to control this white marker here. There's a little white bar. It's currently located under the volume. When you push this volume button down, it's going to move this white bar to, to your uh, filter. It's going to move it down to the squelch where you adjust your squelch down here. And it's also going to go to your attenuator attenuation and then back to volume so what you do is you push this button on top and it cycles through you adjust you you move this button to where it's highlighting the squelch and to enable your squelch it's the audio and right here it's currently enabled. I'm going to disable it. And I'm gonna turn on this microphone right here. So you can actually hear the hissing. Now to adjust that squelch you have to turn on the squelch you notice that it's now missing so you need to turn on the squelch audio enable squelch now you see the option to adjust your squelch right there so again push the volume down until you highlight the squelch and when it's red that means it is closed so i'm going to turn it to the left that's counterclockwise to where it becomes green let me adjust the volume go back to squelch you're going to hear the white noise okay so go back to the volume knob we'll just uh, zoom out a little bit to this volume knob here and we're going to turn it to the right counterclockwise until that hissing goes away right about there now you notice that the squelch turns red when there's no signaling All right, I just increased the volume. So we're at uh, squelch minus 76 dBMs and the squelch is red. That could be a weak signal. And if it's not, adjust it, the squelch again to the right. I'm now minus 74 dBMs. And let's take a listen. Well, apparently there's no traffic flying. I hear a jet flying overhead. One just flew by the hotel room. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's going down. So there's no more airplanes flying into DFW, Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. It's been uh, quiet for several minutes. 
Uh, one thing to note, while you're adjusting the squelch, adjust it when there's no signaling, when you're not receiving any signals. So right now would be the best time to make any adjustments. Again, I'm going to open it up and then turn the squelch to the right until it goes to red. It's a minus 77 and I want to go minus 76 and I move the white tab back to the volume because I like to adjust the volume on the fly. Eric 160 to the center main same 5,000, give it to you. Hi, down to 5,000, Eric 163. Eric 163, turn left heading 2-0-0, intercept the 1-7 center, localized. 2-0-0, heading intercept 1-7 center, localized, the field is tight, Eric 163. Eric 163, clear visual approach, runway 1-7 center. Clear visual 1-7 center, runway 1-7 center. American 380, reduce speed 1-7-0 to Jiffy, soon as practical. Lone Star American 1373, 11,900, center and down. Let's go again. American 1373, 11, 8, descending 8,000. American 1373, Lone Star Approach, Spectrum A, 17 Center. American 2446, flat, 92, Jiffy. American 2446, maintain 170 knots now to Jiffy. Flat, 92, Jiffy, American 2446. American 2446, actually, they just had to go around, go ahead and reduce the slowest practical speed, contact the Jiffy Tower, 126.55. Lowest practical speed, 26 track, American 2446. American 163, DFTB Airport, 11 o'clock, 14 miles, reporting sign. We report inside, American 163. Okay, I'm sorry, you're still clear. Uh, American 163, you're still clear for the visual approach, runway 17 center, maintain 199 or 0 knots. American 2446, contact DFTB Tower, 126.55. American 380, maintain 160 knots to Jiffy now, contact DFTB Tower, 126.55. 160 to American 2060, turn left heading 270, reduce speed to 190. American 2446. American 380, visual 170. American 380, DFW 17 Center, Kirtle Line 1160 at 17. guys. Well, thank you for watching my little short video. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a like and a comment. 73's and y'all have a great day.